Now, people around the world and here at home rallied in solidarity with Ukraine. And Dave, it was quite a, a showing there on Independence Mall. Yeah, Independence Mall, where I am now, was filled with people, many folks from the very large Ukrainian community here in the Philadelphia area, gathering, demanding freedom for their homeland in the shadow of one of the greatest symbols of freedom. Stop now. Impassioned chants of Stop Putin now said by many at this large rally where scores of Ukrainian Americans and others pledged support for Ukraine and made donations to help loved ones there still under attack by Russian forces. We met several Ukrainian Americans who say they have terrified family members hiding in basements in their homeland trying to stay alive as they wonder what will happen next. Helena is worried about her 95 year old grandmother, her mom, and and her uncle. They are terrified because this is this is a event like Second World War level event. All people are in tears, in 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 tears, and running, you know, to safety where they can. The Russians now are faced with problems with their logistical tail. They don't have enough diesel fuel to keep their tanks and armored personnel carriers running. They don't have enough ammunition for their heavy artillery and for their armored forces. So the question is whether that will influence things on the Russian side when both sides do meet for scheduled peace talks. Of course, the world will be watching. No exception here in our area as well. Back to you. Dave Kinchin, thank you very much. In the U.S. state.